Hi everyone, in this video we're going to create this infographic. This one's special because it's connected to a spreadsheet, uh, like something made out of Excel or Apple Numbers or Google Sheets. Okay, it connects to an SV, not an SVG, a CSV, okay, and it will update automatically here in Premiere Pro. Why is that so close? Look, I've already rendered it, I've already done the intro, we have to live with it now. All right, let's jump in and make it. Okay, so to connect up our CSV data-driven uh, infographic, we need to find the right kind of uh, template. Okay, so not all of them will do it, and you find that's one that's kind of pre-done for us. So under Essential Graphics, find Browse. Let's go to Adobe Stock. Remember, you don't have to find it from Adobe Stock. They've got some good free ones, though. And you want to look for, like, data-driven, okay? And, or CSV, or try and use those sorts of search terms. Data driven is what um, Premiere Pro have got a bunch of ones in here. We're going to use this one here. Click it to download it, or just click and drag it into your um, timeline. Give it a second, it'll wait, it'll download the pieces it needs. I've already pre downloaded mine, so it went real fast. And it's pretty cool. Let's have a little look. Uh, actually, clear my in and out. I'm going to set a new in and out over here. In, out, hit my return key. It's going to render it in here so it looks nice. I'll speed this up. I'll get bored halfway through, hit cancel. <laughs> and we'll just watch it in the slow-mo version. Look at that. Kind of all speeds around and kind of goes. It's pretty nice, huh? So we need to update this. How do we update it? With it selected. Okay, we go over here in our central graphic panel under edit. You can see it here. We've got all our chart controls. Okay, there's lots to, you know, there's lots of good controls in here, including some of the fonts, which is great. We don't have to go and do anything like that. Ours is all about, uh, I can't even remember, co-working stats. That's, that's what we'll put in here. Co, using our stats. All right, and here, yeah, like you can manually update it by just clicking and edit. There's like a default um, CSV or a you know, spreadsheet already attached to it. You can say actually I only want like four rows. You can see four of them disappeared. I want this one to say SMEs, okay, and this one to say bananas. Okay, whatever you want to do, you can make the adjustments here and manually go and change these here. So that's cool. And um, what we want to do though is attach a CSV, okay, or talking Excel or Apple's numbers, Google Sheets. Okay, the thing for this to work though, it has to be a CSV or a TSV, like a comma separated values or a tab separated values. So I've got one ready to go. So I'm going to go to Browse under your exercise files under Coworking. There's one in here called Coworking Stats and it is a CSV, very common kind of database output. Let me show you what it looks like. It looks like that. It's got a column with a name on the top. Okay, and it's got all my different data points. If you are creating this, make sure you put a title in the top or a heading in the columns because it ignores that first row. And there's all my stats, SMEs uh, 38. You can read <laughs> startup teams. I just want you to see that it's going to match in here hopefully in a second. So I'm going to click open, give it a sec. Look at that. It knew that it was five rows. Let's put them all in here. Okay, and there was no column for colors. You could, if you were creating this as a, like a database driven completely, you could create that in your SVG, the colors. I, I've just left mine blank. I'm going to manually change the colors. Okay, you can still go and edit it afterwards. Okay, you might just use it for the first time to do it. And um, what we'll do though is I want to show you how to maybe update it automatically because now we can just go through and fiddle with them, make it look nice, change the fonts, change the sizing. But let's look at, let's say we want to kind of dynamically update this thing, kind of dynamically update this thing. If we want the CSV to update and for this Premiere Pro to automatically update, we need to map these. All it means is that this first, um, you know, this first column here is mapped to that column name of our CSV file. Remember, they were named who are our members and percentage. You might have more of them, okay, and they just become unmapped. But I just want to use these two that match these two. We're going to click OK, and because they're mapped, it means that when I change the CSV, they're going to change in here. So to change the CSV, the thing you need to remember is you need to update it. Okay, so on a Mac, it's very common to use Numbers or Excel. On PC, I think it's the law to use Microsoft Excel. You could be using Google Sheets. You need to do the updates through whatever it is you use. Okay, so in this case, I'm using Google Numbers. Okay, and let's say we change it to two just because, and we change this to 
and some Daniels. Okay, and we click off. Now, if I hit save now, it's gonna save in the native format of numbers, or if XL, it's gonna be one of those XLS files, Google Sheets, I don't know what it saves as. So you need to export from whatever thing you're changing it in. Okay, so I'm gonna go file, export, and you'll see this in, um, in Excel, is it export? It might be export or save as, but you're looking for a TSV or a CSV. Comma separated values or tab separated values. Just click next. I'm gonna stick it over the top of the original one. So back into my exercise files co-working, because this is what, you know, that's what Premiere Pro is currently looking at, that file. So I'm gonna export over the top of it. It's gonna say, would you like to replace it? I'm like, oh, careful, can I go back? I'm gonna live life on the edge. I'm gonna update the stats, click replace. And over here, oh, did you see it update? Oh, you did. Okay, so you can be dynamically updating the CSV, however way you do it. You might be, might be created via a database, okay? Maybe a web app creates it for you, or you might just manually update it. Somebody's job is to update this, and your job is to just watch it update here in Premiere Pro. That might seem a little tricky as in, what if somebody updates it and it's for an old project? It's probably best just to go through and browse and bring in the new version. It might be May's stats, April's stats, okay? And just rename it as CSV. It doesn't really need to dynamically update. It's just as long as they keep the same column names, it will update nice and easily. All right, so that is an infographic at its maximum inside Premiere Pro. We've connected it to a spreadsheet via our S, I can't even do it, SVG I wanna say. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some of them in there, a CSV, okay? And we can update it as long as they're mapped. Wonderful. All right, that is it. Let's get on to the next video.